Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my Christmas printable collection of papers and I wanted to just show you what each thing is. They're all sold separately in my shop as printable items and you can pick and choose which ones you like, if any, and just print them out at home. I've printed some of them at Officeworks, which is just a print shop local to me and I've also printed some at home. So I'm gonna show you the paper collection. There's also a collage sheet set. There's the book covers for Christmas and there's a fold out set for Christmas. So I'm gonna show you the papers first. I've printed them out, as I said, with Officeworks. I did A3 size for this nice big size and I also did A4. For some reason, some of my A3 sheets went missing during the print. This isn't the whole set so I'm going to show you the A4 set that I have printed I guess as well it's a more common size so most people will have a A4 printer rather than an A3 so in the paper collection there is 17 different papers so there's 14 patterned papers and then there's three cut apart sheets I'm going to get up nice and close to show you so this is the first one mine's a little bit crinkled there and we've been painting so excuse my hands it's also raining and it's very dark so hopefully you can see and hear okay but this is the first patterned paper and everything's been designed by me on the iPad Pro using an Apple pencil to draw the designs so that's the first one then we have this one with the Christmas trees and there's like little polka dots or like snow in between so there's that one then we have this one, the ice skating paper. I love how this turned out. I think it's so fun. Looks like this. And I hope that my Australian friends aren't disappointed with me for doing a white Christmas theme. I just think that even though in Australia we have Christmas in summer, I still think that um, the snowy Christmas is such a magical idea to me, even though we don't have it here. And I think as well, because we're so influenced by America, like all of our movies and TV shows, Christmas is always portrayed as a white Christmas. So I had a lot of fun sort of imagining what that would be like. If anybody has any suggestions for an Aussie themed Christmas paper pack, I'd love to hear your ideas because that's something I definitely like to try and do in the future as well. This print is just like a plaid Christmas print. Then we have some Christmas ornaments. Then we have this black sort of framed print. So this could be fun to put like a photo or write on top of with white pen. I like how this one turned out as well. Then we have the Santa Claus paper. Looks like this. And then we have some socks. Socks are fun. So there's different um, patterns. Looks like this. Then I wanted to do like a close up of the Christmas trees. So it's like, um, like you're right in the forest and there's lots of nice contrasty de detail in those leaves. Then we have this really simple, um, like a snowflake sort of inspired paper in this blue and green color. And then this one with all the little cozy things like a mitten, socks, scarf, a sweater and then there's gingerbread a little letter and a cup of could be hot chocolate or coffee whatever you want it to be so there's that one then we have this one with the stockings I like how this one turned out as well it has some pretty details in the paper and then we have the Christmas village which looks like this Sorry, my camera keeps going out of focus. So there's that one. Oh, and for some reason I'm missing this print in the A4 size. So there's also this one. This is just a really simple, um, like a Christmas botanical print. So this is an A3. I did have an A4 size somewhere, but I don't know um, where it's gone. And then the cut apart sheets as well. It's a bit funny because I have two here in A4. And then I also have them in A3. There's actually three in the pack. So these three cut apart sheets. There's this one with the tickets. 
There is this one here that has some journaling spaces. So um, this is just my trimmer was going blunt, but there's a wish list piece to buy. There's like a little ticket. There's this little piece with the Christmas present, a tag, and then a postcard. And with this piece, you can actually back these pieces together so that it has a decorative backside as well. Then the next one has these little tickets. And so again, this is in A4, so they're, they're small, but they're not too small. I've actually got some here to show you for size, what they look like in A4. So they're just a nice little size for layering. You can do, um, you can do titles and stuff with these and just use them to embellish the page. So there's just lots of different fun Christmas activities and stuff. Um, I just tried to think of different Christmassy things that could have tickets. So really, really fun. So there's those, there's a heap of different tickets and then there's a couple on them that are blank so you can just write straight on there as well. So there's those. And then the other cut apart sheet, for some reason I don't have it in A4, but this is what it looks like in A3 and it's just got some of those elements repeated. This is a nice title piece. You could use this for like a photo frame. And there's a sweater and like a little village sort of scene there. Santa Claus, stocking, a Christmas tree, a deer, a little journal card there and some labels. So that is also included in the same pack. So those are the Christmas patterned papers and this whole collection is called Together, by the way. So I also made some collage sheets with some of the elements from the paper pack. So you can cut these out and use them to embellish your pages or whatever you like. There's a Christmas tree that's decorated, a Christmas tree that's blank with no ornaments on it. Then you also get some of those cozy um, clothing items. There's this cute little bear with a scarf, a gingerbread, the Santa Claus and some ornaments and the presents. So you can cut those out and use those as embellishments or whatever else you like. Then I also wanted to do a set of Christmas notebooks. So I just shared recently the notebook covers that I created that I think are really fun. So you just cut these out and fold them in half and you can put pages in them or you can just use them as ephemera pieces in your journal. So this one has the Christmas tree and this one has the Santa Claus and then you have the little bear with the scarf and the house. So the house is from the fold outs, which I'll share in a minute, but there's only these four covers in this set of notebook covers. So you get these four, but you get them in all the different size varieties. So there's a smaller one. This was just my printer playing up, but you get a smaller one with the front and backs. And then you also get the covers nice and big, just the cover fronts like that. And then you also get the cover fronts for to a page like that. So that all comes in the same pack and gives you a nice variety of sizes to work with. And then the last thing I've created for Christmas is maybe my favorite. I don't know whether the paper pack is my favorite or the fold outs are my favorite, but I love how these turned out. They're so cute. So this is another pack of fold outs like you've seen me make before. There's 14 different designs. They all come in the same pack. And I've got some here that I've already assembled so I can show you how they work and what they look like. And then I've got some here that I've just printed to show you how they come when you download them. So these are all of the pieces. And again, they've got elements from the paper pack and the other um, printables that I've made. So those designs in different sizes and in different ways to use them. So they all match together really well. So you get this Christmas tree that folds out like this and you've got all this journaling space underneath. There's a Christmas card with the bear and the scarf, again with journaling space inside. Then you get this house that folds down, that folds down like this, and you've got your journaling space underneath again. And then this house, which I love how this turned out and it opens up like this, with some nice journaling space there as well. Then you get the gingerbread and he opens up like this. We've got um, the Santa Claus got an ornament piece that opens up like that then the stocking which is really cute I also did one of the socks and this one opens up like that then we have the sweater which opens up like that 
the little present and this is a envelope piece so just like in the other fold out printables for the folksy fold out set it opens up the same way just like that which i think is really cute then you've got a tag which opens up like this and lastly a post box which opens up like this and so i think there's a really nice fun variety of different designs and sizes included in the pack and when you download this it comes like this so there's two pdf files the first one has the fronts and the second one has the backs and they have numbers on them so one matches with one as you can see these lined pieces will fit behind these uh, really well and there's also some instructions um, on the sheets to help sort of tell you where you should fold and where you should cut so they're pretty easy and they're pretty quick to put together and I just think they're such a cute idea to make your pages more interactive. So there's four pages for each, so four pages of lined pieces and four pages of the flat pieces which go on the top. So that's my Christmas digitals. I wanted to get them out pretty early so that if you are someone like me who likes to try and start their Christmas projects as early as possible, you can use these if you would like to. I'm so happy and proud of how this set of printables turned out. They turned out really cute and will be a really fun addition to journals and December daily. So as I said, everything that you saw in this video will be available in my Etsy shop as digital products, which means you can just purchase the files and download them and print them straight away from home. Or you can go to a print shop and print them out if you prefer. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the things that I've been making and I will see you soon. Bye.